Welcome back at Mastercam Plate C and Y axis toolbar. Mastercam, in this video, we will discuss about that how you can prepare Mastercam Lathe C and Y axis toolpath for that one component. As you can see on your screen, we have to create C axis toolpath for that one geometry. So, in this video, we will perform the three operations. The number one operation is the face contour for removing that one area. The second one operation is face drill for creating that one area and then next one third one operation for the create we will create that is c axis drilling for the creating c axis drilling for any rectangular piece there is a trick which we have to use that one also we saw in this video mastercam in our last video we will discuss about that how you can prepare all the lathe tool path for that one geometry so you can check it out the link is still available in the i button Starting that one part, I have to create a new toolpath group. For creating a new toolpath group, we have to click on the machine group, right click group and new toolpath group. And now we, I am providing a renew name for rename group and rename. That is C axis toolpath. For the one operation which we have to perform, that one is the face contour. So we have to select on the face contour, select the contour chain. That one is over chain. And now we click on OK. And now again OK. So when we select over chain, that there is a one page open like this. So now we have to select here the what is the tool size. Create a right click create tool and mill the next we will create it next 10 mm and mill and now finish here we are inputting what is the feed value the feed value is approximately 1500 and spindle speed is 2000 now input the command for that one operation is face contour come in the cutting parameter at here in the cutting parameter we have to select contour type is a ram type contour what is in the ram type contour so now here when a one path is completed from the starting point to again at the starting point what is the depth will take it is 1 mm when we are selecting contour type ram so it means that tool will be continuously take depth it is not coming outside before the workpiece is completed and mark at the make pass at final depth it means there will be no step on that final pass now we have to click in the depth of cut depth of cut we are already input in the cutting parameter now we have to come in the lead in and lead out at the here in the lead in and lead out it means that what is the tool coming in the entry during the cutting time and what is the parameter required for the when the tool is coming outside from the workpiece here in the lead in we have to for the lathe c and y axis toolpath we have to input r radius it is 60 percent and also when it is going outside it is the similar to the lead in now we are inputting breakthrough amount we are inputting breakthrough amount is 4 mm that is the due to we have to cut off that one geometry and now we are coming in the linking parameter in the linking parameter we have to select clearance absolute retract absolute feed plane incremental top of the stock absolute and depth absolute now what is the over top of the stock over top of the stock is that from here to what is the over last depth this is also here now we have to click on the ok so as you can see our toolpath is generated but it is inside the geometry for comma for making outside that one toolpath we have to go in the toolpath parameter in the cutting parameter we have to select that chain from left to right or right to left now we have to regenerate 
So as you can see in the drawing, over late C face contour tool path is generated, and the next one operation which we have to perform that one is the face drilling operation. For creating a face drilling operation, we have to select face drill. Now here. For creating a face drilling operation, we are cl click on the face drill. Now at the face drill, we have to select all the drill. Now first number drill, the second drill, the third drill, and then last one, fourth drill. Now click on OK. So at here, we are inputting the what is the tool size. For a tool, create right click, create a tool. For a create new tool path, we have to select the drill. Next, what is the tool diameter size? It is automatically come 6 mm and next and now finish. We have to input what is the feed rate and what is the spindle speed. And now we input command for the program that is face drill. Now we have to come in the cutting parameters. In a cutting parameter, when we are selecting a 12 mm drill, there is will be no. In a cutting parameter, it will be okay. Now we are coming in the linking parameters. In a linking parameter, we have to make sure that your clearance should be absolute, your retract should be absolute, your top of the stroke should be absolute, and your depth should be absolute. What is the top of the stroke for your geometry? That is here. And what is the total depth? Your depth is that twin geometry. It is minus 12 as per the drawing. So the, as you can see, over all four, all four, four holes tool path is done. And now we have to create that one operation by the help of C axis drilling. For creating that one tool path, it is must required. There will be one entity at here. So for creating an entity at that one area, we have to go in the model preparation and axis, whole axis. Now we have to select this hole. The diameter is 6 mm. Now we have to click. OK. And again for the backside area, it is required to be create a hole. Click here and OK. So as you can see, we are creating a hole from the top area as well as the bottom area. Now we for creating that one operation, we are going in the turning and click on C axis drill. For creating a C axis drill, first we have to select that one geometry and that one circle. Now for creating a C axis drill, we have to click the center point of that one here for this geometry and also from the back side the center point for this one geometry if that this next center point is not selected you have to remove the depth filter and now we click here and now okay now we have to select the tool tool is still same 6 mm what is the feed rate spindle speed and now we have to input C axis drill the operation now we have to come in the cutting parameter for the cutting parameter the psych in the psych there is a second one method it is known as pick drilling in the pick drilling the tool is coming in the inside of the hole and again it will be retract the tool will be machining like that tool will be coming inside and exit so what is the fig first pick and the subsequence peak, we have to input what is the subsequence value. Now we have to come in the linking parameter, absolute clearance, retract absolute, top of the stock absolute and depth should be absolute. Now as per the drawing, we have to input what is the depth value. So as you can see in the drawing, the diameter of that one area is 38 mm. So now we can input the depth of this hole is half of the diameter. So we are inputting here minus 20.0. And now, okay. next one step is we have to input 
and provide a value for rotating axis control. We have to click on a rotating axis control and now here we have to input what is the rotating diameter where all hole is stable. Now we have to click on a right click, click on diameter of an arc and now we have to select a and OK. So as you can see our tool path is generated for the, all the three operation. Our first operation is face control. Our next one operation is the face drill and our last one operation is C axis drilling. So we will simulate in a 2D and let's begin. So first one operation is the face drill. So our first one operation is the face contour. Second one operation will be face drill and the last one operation is C axis drill. So thank you very much. I wish you understand all the parameter and this operation.